Guys, I got some fantastic news for you. It's bonus video day. You see, we just had an incredibly cool recovery opportunity just pop up and we're headed down to do it. Now, let's talk about what was supposed to be happening today. I told you guys in my last video up at Cerro Gordo that the next video was gonna be us exploring down in the Union Mine. That's not this video. The reason why that's not this video is because we're waiting on a couple more uh, pieces of footage that we got from down in the mine that really, I feel like are 100% necessary to be able to complete the video. So rather than post it prematurely without those shots, we're gonna wait and hopefully release that video on Sunday. So instead, like I said, bonus video time. And I feel like you guys are really gonna enjoy this. So buckle up and let's go. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's bonus vlog day. We just got called out for a recovery on Utah Lake. Boat hit a sandbar. It is, it is in a bad spot. And uh, the only vehicle that can access it is the Sisu Nasu, my baby, that is not even done yet. We literally forced the guys to get it as done as possible this morning. And we're gonna take it as is. Missing bolts, missing nuts, missing parts and pieces, but it runs and drives. And this is the first time I've ever driven it and I'm so freaking excited. It's got a big uh, Cummins 6.7 engine in it that we converted over from an old Land Rover engine that it used to have. So it's got all kinds of freaking power. I'm like, mind blown, super stoked. Oh, these are power gears coming with this? Yeah, man, we're all going, the whole team. Yeah, I like this new giveaway truck, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's the new Tundra 06. Uh, it's the 67th truck we've given away this month. Hey, don't put this in the vlog. <laughs> I'm gonna run for president someday. I want your vote. <laughs> Come on, David. <laughs> you having a hard time crossing the street, Jim? He'll wait for me. Hey guys, before we head down, I got my iPad here with a map of the area. I'm gonna draw out what's going on so you can understand where the boat is in relation to the lake versus the shore and why this is somewhat of a complicated recovery. So basically right here is where the Dude. Hey man. Hi. We need to talk. Did you know that two out of three men will experience male pattern baldness by the time they reach age 35? That would explain why two of the three of us here have hair problems. Touche. Did you also know that treatment is available? And the key to treating hair loss is preventing it before it continues any further. As you can see, we both have a little bit of a situation going on. But the good news is treatment is available and it's available directly from your own home. So Keeps is this company that basically designed this service where you can have access to a doctor 24 seven. They formulate this program for you, send you really affordable prescriptions like to prevent hair loss, generic FDA approved stuff. And the best part is it's a subscription service. So it comes every single month because the best way, like I said, to treat hair loss is to get ahead of it. We're gonna see results probably I don't know, four, five, six months down the road. So what do you say? I'd like to keep, but I could also keep bouncing the light off my forehead. Over to you. My eyes! So basically what I'm saying is if you're ready to start treating your hair loss and preventing even further loss, you need to click the link in my description below, go to keeps.com forward slash heavy D, and they're gonna give you 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com forward slash heavy D. And you know what? It's not too late to not look like us. So make it happen, go to keeps.com and thank you Keeps for sponsoring this ad and for also protecting my vision. Keeps your hair, yeah. everyone. Get some sh powder on there or something. Powder. Powder. All right, so let me get that out of the way. What we're dealing with here, let's call this line right here, roughly 18 inches deep of water, okay? This next line is roughly only about 12 inches deep. The boat, is sitting right there, okay? So our options are take our army boat, go through the marina, come out here, right? And then try to pull the boat through 12 to 18 inches of water. The problem with that is it's gonna rip his prop and his rudder right off. And that's assuming we're able to get close enough 
with our boat to be able to pull it. Remember, our army boat sits roughly three feet deep with the big skags and the big props, and it's really the only boat that would have enough power to kind of drag him through the mud. Our second option is what we're going with. We're gonna take the Sisu Nasu, we're gonna come down this road right here. We've got permission from the state and the DNR to be able to basically cut through the marshlands right here, pick up his boat trailer with the Sisu Nasu, drive right out to his boat in the 12 to 18 inches of water, use the rear winch on the Sisu Nasu, which is gonna allow us to load his boat, and then bam, we're gonna be able to head straight out this way and essentially avoid ripping his boat apart, use the amphibious and the low ground pressure capabilities that the Sisu Nasu has, recover the boat, get him back to dry land, save the day, boom, bam, thank you, ma'am. All right, guys, so uh, today, it's gonna be a really, really good day. This was a total bonus recovery. We did not have this planned. We got a phone call late last night about this boat that had hit the sandbar here at Utah Lake. As you guys know, as we've discussed in other videos, the water levels are extremely low in Utah and all across the West right now, which means the lakes are unpredictable. Sandbars and underwater obstacles that you've never seen before. So uh, this guy, Ryan, was driving his boat late at night, coming in from surfing, following the GPS. The GPS took him to what normally would have been a safe path, but with the low water levels, put them right in a sandbar. We flew over it yesterday. Uh, actually, we flew over it, yeah, yesterday with the helicopter to take a look at it. And it's so far in the shallow that trying to use our army boat or another boat to get it would be really tricky. It's close enough to the shore that we can use uh, a vehicle to grab it, but not a vehicle with tires because the shore is really spongy. So that's where the Sisu Nasu comes in handy. This is, guys, this is, I've been so excited to reveal this vehicle to you, and I'm kind of doing the reveal a little early, which whatever, I guess we're just gonna deal with it. I was gonna wait till it was all done. As you can see, like door handles and stuff still have to be put on, windows missing, uh, dumb little things, huh, such as the fuel cap, apparently. We're gonna go ahead and wanna just do that right there. Try to keep water out of there. Um, the interior is not fully assembled yet, but when this is done, it's got 18,000 pound winch on the front, 18,000 pound winch on the rear. Uh, this thing is sweet. I think you guys are gonna really, really like this vehicle. So anyways, we're, uh, we're gonna get it uh, hooked up to the boat trailer, drive out to the boat, hopefully winch the boat onto the trailer and then pull it all in with this. So we'll see what happens. What you think, Jim? I think we're gonna wanna get. I don't think I wanna get ran over today again. But, uh. Yeah, it's pretty, uh. Pretty far out in the water. But I think we wanna be as ready as possible to have to tow this out. This is a pretty sweet machine. It does a good job, but. There's always that really good chance that it, uh. It's really stuck. Maiden voyage time in the Sisu Nasu. Like I mentioned, it's really far from done. It's missing all the panels and covers and stuff. Uh, it's a little loud right now because we don't have all the, the insulation and sound deadening in it, but it's functioning. And it should do exactly what we needed to do to be able to pull this boat out of this weird spot today. So we're gonna go hook up to the uh, trailer and then just kind of slowly start working our way back, uh, back in there. Go. Boat trailer. Isn't this a strongman competition? About to be one. Size? You see that like they lift the stone? Lift it. It's probably easier to lift the trailer. <laughs> It is. Did you feel that thing beneath you? No, I felt it. <laughs> Damn DNR blocking all of our trails with rocks. <laughs> Inadequate effort. <laughs>
you doing, man? How's the boat? It's, it's good now. Yeah, got I some water out of it. The, the pump, so. Yeah. So they're filming. I talked with your oh, wife. It's, uh, it's already plugged in. That's plugged in. Yeah, it's free spooling. Yeah, go ahead. Should we go under this somehow? Try to go on the side here. Pull a spare tire off. We need to get the trailer tipped up. Either that or we could put some blocks. Good? All right, hold on. Yeah, it's close. As soon as it gets over that one lip. We need a little bit of this with the trailer, but right now it seems to be working okay. We just don't want to pull that uh, hook out of the boat. There we go. Yeah, baby. Love it when a plan comes together. See that? That is when a plan comes together perfectly. It never happens like that. Like right now, we, well, we're not done yet, but normally we'd be upside down by now. There we go. And, oh, that winch made short work of that. That's awesome. And that water made short work of your boots. Oh yeah, I'm just, my boots are now water containers. That's all locked in. All right, we're good. Hey, guys, I'm not gonna lie, that was way too easy. I don't wanna say we're done yet because we're not, because we still gotta get it over there, but that was sweet. The winch on the sea suit did exactly what it was supposed to do. Luckily, this uh, mud is not too squishy, so the boat trailer's not sinking too bad yet. But uh, all we gotta do now is basically pull it from here over to there. I think the hardest part of all this was winching the, uh, winching the boat onto the trailer because it had to like hike up a little bit, so. Everybody had to lift up on it, but we're on, we're good. So we're ready to get out of here. That was quick. soft as it normally is so traction's not a huge issue uh a truck still probably would have struggled out here so i'm glad we didn't bring a truck and uh now we're headed headed in it's going fast now <laughs> yeah, we almost had it out It's a Sisu Nafu coming through the jungle like a ravenous lion pulling its prey to freedom. What could it have behind it? I don't know. Hush, here it comes. Let's hide in the bushes. Hey, tuck aside here. Don't let him see you. It's beautiful. 
beautiful. Look at that beautiful season nursery element. Pulling, it looks to be a boat. Apparently a boat was stuck out on the lake. But the Sisu Nosu has gone to sea. And now is a rising victorious back onto the trail through the fragment. Look here, we have the captain of the Sisu Nosu itself. It's heavy deep. And they have rose victorious with the boat. Oh, and there's passengers. Do you hear that Sisu Nosu? That's not a regular Sisu Nosu. That sounds like a common Sisu Nosu. She loves her new job here, Sparks Motors. Yeah? yeah? What would you call a coming Sisu Nosu? I want to see me coming. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. You always made quick work of that one. There's Davis. Look, the wild videographer. Look at it. He knows exactly which angles to get everything to do. Look at him, now we're running together. Don't let him out of your sight. Davis, what was it like down there? Oh, it was crazy. We almost died. We almost died? What? How did we almost die? Tell well, us. There's sharks everywhere. Sharks? Sharks in Utah Lake? Uh, Krakens. Krakens? This is crazy. All right, go have firewood for next time. Okay. I mean, it's like a 20 inch. You guys make this look bad. Got a little water on me. Oh, Get the high lift. Oh, <laughs> dude, look at the. Uh, high lift is, uh, uh, Stop. Right now, though, it's got a lot of weight. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> oh, remember that orange bar on the front of the trailer? That needs to go. Moving. Let me. Bar. Oh. Whoa. There it is. <laughs> Oh man, we were so close. Check and see if the boat will stop. Yes. Big wave. Oh. What's, What's that? that? Hey guys. So you guys know, remember I introduced you to my uh, my, my toolbox, right? When we recovered the Bronco off the top of the mountain. Well, the company Tool Raptors out of the UK reached out and they're like, hey, we see your toolbox, we love it, but it's a little uh, beat up. So let us design a new one for you. So the whole purpose behind this was to build a toolkit that we could potentially resell. Now, I don't have any details yet. I don't know if or when it's gonna become available. I don't know pricing, but I do know that this is pretty much the toolkit that I would obviously put my stamp of approval on and feel good selling. So if we can come to an agreement, we're potentially gonna be selling this kit to all of you that were interested because it turns out a ton of you guys were super interested. Like this is loaded. This has got pretty much everything you could want. Guys, the old Cummins Sisu Nasu absolutely blew me away. I knew it was gonna be cool, but dude, I mean, this thing absolutely kicked ass today did everything we needed it to, made really, really light work of that uh, recovery. And that was actually a fairly complicated recovery. Coming into this, I was like, oh, this could be tricky because I've dealt with the shore of this lake before. It's a spongy, nasty mess. Had we tried to pull it out with another boat, I don't think we would have been successful or we would have ripped the entire drivetrain out of his boat. We were able to do this in a way that was zero damage to his boat, which is incredible. So hope you guys enjoyed the show. It was fun. It was last minute. Remember, if you have a stuck vehicle, piece of equipment, anything that you need, like moved or that's complicated logistically and it's in or around utah shoot us an email info at heavydsparks.com and if we can maybe we'll come save you as well so anyways guys hope you enjoyed the video drop a comment like and make sure you subscribe because i think we just passed 1 million subscribers which means we have another giveaway another one of my vehicles is going to be a whoop, one of you guys so stay tuned for that and if you want to win one subscribe right now <laughs>